games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the sand train? Choo choo. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Okay, so E-I-E-I-O is, uh, just getting his farm started, which involves a little bit of, uh, you know, this and that. Oh my god, he already has a scythe? I am become Death Destroyer of Farms. The perfect killing weapon. <laughs> They'll never suspect a thing. I'm not gonna cut- well... well that's, I really like the animation when you walk through that grass. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. I try not to cut all the grass because, uh, eventually that'll be hay, which we can use. But actually, hey. you know what? It doesn't matter too much because I'm probably not gonna get the silo right away anyway. Uh-huh, you're saying things that I understand. Okay, so I have, uh, ask me how many hours I have clocked on this game, and it just came out. Hey, Ross. Yes. You're right. my friend. Mm. And you play video games on occasion. That is, that is a first true statement. I hear you've been playing this new game called Stardew Valley. That is correct. Approximately how long have you been playing? 56 it? hours! Oh, wow. Yes, I've been playing a lot of this game, <clears throat> and it's been, uh, it's been enjoyable. It's, it's- Have it's, you ever role-played a robot in the- in those 56 hours? Um, no, but I did- I did- So this will be a new experience. I did role-play- well, not role-play, but I did make my character look like Papyrus. <laughs> God. Because, uh, I found out that you could get a skeleton mask by killing mm. 50 skeletons. Oh, I thought you were gonna say by killing people. Can no. you kill people in this game? Well, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Yeah. Skeletons are people. Well, like, technically, the same way zombies are people. They're people. So, right. so you're just clearing out space so you can start, you know... Planting okay. the farm. Right in front of the house, Jesus. Yeah, well, we ain't got much room right now. <clears throat> I see. Once you start killing the townspeople and taking their land, you'll have a lot more space to spread The out. human bodies will help fertile the soil. <laughs> Hey, so, uh, E-A-A-O, you're the new farmer in town. What- what kind of fertilizer are you using out there? People. Oh, that's a- that's a funny People. joke. Is that- is that a- a new brand I haven't heard of? No! Human remains! Oh, oh. And- and it's good, right? Excellent, only the best. It yields a much more efficient crop. Well, nice to- Michi, it's it's tripped me out of this Undertale music right now, man. Yeah. Why I would know. you do that? I'm sure this what? game is lovely music. It does, but now there's more of it. <laughs> and I like uh, Toby's music. It's so great. It's me. just weird. No, please don't sue me, Toby. Oh man. Now now this is officially an Undertale playthrough. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is <clears throat> Metaton's half brother twice rebuilt. Uh huh. Well, he was just a ghost. Whoa, that's a spoiler. Well, actually, we we found that out. Yeah. It's not really a spoiler, it doesn't really change much. It's just neat. What's up there? Up there? What's up there? It's a shortcut to the other parts of town. Oh my god, can you terrorize the villagers or do you want to build up a Whoa, it's a dilapidated house? Well that's actually Look at all those butterflies! I know, this is that the it's it's kind of the the place that I'm I have right now is a little screwed up and a little little uh you know. I was hoping I could get some uh, sap. Did I get some? Yeah. You planted some parsnips. Oh, that's right. I can't use it yet. I have to unlock. Plant those parsnips. I'm gonna plant them. I was plant gonna... those parsnips. I was gonna get some special thing that would let me plant, uh, have better soil, but unfortunately, I do not have that. You don't have human flesh yet. I don't have human flesh yet to, uh, you know, help me get Dude, move that along. Grow the fuck out of some parsnips. So. This game has a few, like, uh, hidden things to it. Well, not hidden, but- Oh, no, it does, it does. Mm. And, um, we can essentially unlock them as the game progresses. So, I for see. instance, uh, as we, like, do more farming, we'll unlock, uh, different abilities and crafting recipes, so we'll be able to make, like, uh, better fertilizer for the soil, we'll mm -hmm. be able to make, like, poop. new buildings. Poop. talking about poop. Yes. I know I'm a thing or two about poop. Human poop. Yes. The best the kind best of fertilizer. Poop. Uh, and we also really need a chest, so I'm gonna knock down one more tree. Yeah, we, we do. <laughs> um, so this is probably be the last, because also on the bottom right, you can probably see the energy bar, which is actually... Oh my god. ...listing, um... Wow. Yeah. Wow, you're out of energy. Yes, I am. But this is probably gonna be all I need, because I just needed a little bit more to make this. And what that does is it lets me have a little bit of storage, and I... I would think that... Put it on the roof. This is a bad idea, but put I just it put it roof. outside. Put it on the roof. I can't put it on the roof, Barry. Fiddler on the roof. I'm not putting it on the roof, Barry. So you gotta do like a super jump every time you need to get your stuff. Well, I am a robot, so I, I could do that if I wanted to. I, I love that, like, I mean, it's just like a trope of old mm -hmm. RPGs and stuff. of just like, I'm gonna go to sleep, it's just time to walk into my bed. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, weather, weather report. report. Let's check it out. 
Welcome to the K- oh, <clears throat> Sorry, I need to go Markiplier with this. Welcome to the K Kozu 5, your you, number one on, source with, for weather news voice. and entertainment. I did, it's called Markiplier. <laughs> and now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain <laughs> all day tomorrow. <laughs> That's great. You know I was what? doing the background noise. You know why rain's good? Because it, it, it waters your crops for you. Uh, he knows. He knows. He's playing a little Harvestman. So this game is basically, the best way I can describe it is it's kind of like a spiritual successor to the Harvest Moon franchise, mm. which is really cool because <clears throat> Harvest Moon on Super Nintendo is actually one of my favorite games of all time. Really? Yep. Really? 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 I didn't know that. Yeah, it's uh, one of the it's the one okay, game that stealing shit. Me and my uh, oh, sister used to play together, and I absolutely adore it. Aw. So it's 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 important to you. Yeah, it has it has uh, it has um, uh, nostalgic significance to me. Um, so I never got into Harvest Moon. It was very good. The first, there are some of them that aren't very good. Uh, I think a few of the like later ones that came out weren't very good. I never got to play a lot of the. Uh, so this is when the 64. villagers start screaming, right? Yes, this would be when the villagers start yeah. screaming. Oh, but it's deserted. They already abandoned town. Not wanted. I'm looking for a Jojo Cola to enjoy while listening to my favorite radio program, Robin. Okay, okay Robin. What the fuck, Robin? Okay. Wait, look at that. Wait, we go back to that? I can't. Shit. Well, I can't, kind of. There was like uh... a cute- no, there was like a cute little robot on the board. Oh, it was like a little yeah, doodle. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a thing they have. Oh, it's locked. Oh, so it's not open yet. All right. Oh, it's only 7 so, a.m. Wow, you're an early riser. I, I am an early- <laughs> uh, tur uh, turn honor or, or activator, you know how <laughs> Early it is. activator? I'm an early activator. That sounds like that would get you on a list. That sounds like bad. Uh oh. Gong, 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 gong. <laughs> Initiating, pushing him into shark infested waters. Robotic arm extend. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> yar, ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I feel ya. like this guy would be like, good to finally meet ya. Hey there, neighbor. You know, I feel like that'd be more his, more his speed. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. Salty seas. Salt is bad. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Good fish. Made some Krabby Patties. <laughs> finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Why are you approaching me? Here. I want you to have me old fishing rod. It's important to me that me that the arch of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You're making me uncomfortable. Fishing rod is perfect for catching humans. Holy shit, how are you making that fly above your head? I was holding it above my head. No, it was flying in the air. Why is there a bunch of did someone did he just throw someone in the water? There's like a bunch of bubbles popping up in the top right. There's a man drowning over there. There's a good. W I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. He's a robot too. It's hard to swap between all these voices. Oh Arr, God. Yarr. There's good water in here in in the valley. All kinds of fish. Like that one out there. That's a man fish. Oh yeah. My shop's back open now. So come by if you need supplies. He looks like he's not breathing underwater, but he's just a little sick. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells, like my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. I think I made that joke in Holly's playthrough. Ugh, gross. I just keep expecting him to fall through the pier because he weighs five tons. Yeah, it like just shatters and breaks and you yeah. just sink and then walk back to shore. And then you, you have a quest. Oh, how'd you, you get to, over there? You have to rebuild the, uh, the pier as one of your quests. And this is the fishing in the game. The fishing in this game is actually kind of cool. Um, they have this, wait, let's see if I can pull this off. It's pretty hard at first oh. to get used to it. Oh no. Because it's like, oh my. it seems simple, do it, do it, do but it, it gets do it, do it, do it. kind of frustrating. I believe in you. And the early rod isn't very good, so... You I didn't get... think a robot could look so bored. And yet here we are. I am initiating boredom. <laughs> initiating boredom protocols. 80%, 100% bored. Old McDonald had a fish. Hit! Oh, click to raise bar, release the lower bar, keep bar behind fish. Oh, so you just have to mat- oh, that is awkward. Oh, that it's... is really weird. Oh, uh, except that one wasn't going down. <clears throat> Normally, this is yeah, what happens. Doing. I'll show you. So, Max. Max! Max robot! Maximum kill! Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. See, the bar goes down. And this- this rod and sucks. And it only goes up while you're behind it? Yeah. Oh, God. And you have to, like, kind of tap it. Oh, my God. Hold. I hate games like this. I actually kind of, actually I can't like, like the fishing, fishing game mini games. It actually it's gets you get good at it eventually, and then you can add bobbers mm -hmm. and stuff. Some of the fish are really hard to catch, like 
really hard to catch. You know, pretty much the only time I've I've actually caught a fish was when we went to that restaurant in Japan. I caught like like a ton of fish at that restaurant. Oh yeah, you you were good. And then I I with Kevin got the tiniest fish. I, I ever. misunderstood. So do you want to explain this restaurant to people? So we went to this place in Japan where there is basically a river running through the restaurant filled with fish and like giant like spider crabs and shit. It's just like it's like an aquarium, and they hand you a fishing rod and they hand you some bait and they say catch your dinner, and. You don't have to, you can like order stuff off the menu, but you basically, like, we like had a little window outside, so we were, we were sitting below the surface of the water, and we had a window where we could see into the water, and then windows up above that we would open. Solid Travel Blog did a video about the place. Oh, did he? Yes. Awesome. So, you look that up. That and basically we like, had to catch fish, and then we would catch them, and we'd freak the fuck out, because we just caught a fish, put it in a bag, and then the wait staff were like, thank you, we'll take the fish, and then they cook it and bring it to you. Mm hmm so we had one that was like cooked and, or grilled or something. We had one that right. was like sashimi. It was pretty fresh fish, I must say. But can I can I just say that yeah, I we, thought that I my understanding was that uh, you could only get f food from the menu if you caught the fish. Oh. So I was on the assumption I had to catch everyone's dinner. So I was <laughs> catching so many fish, <laughs> and then true. and then I was like I didn't realize that I was supposed to. Well, basically, be the one to eat them all, and I didn't need that much you fish. Kept, kept, you kept, like, be, we, we, we'd we all be talking and hanging out, and you just turn around and be like, hey, here's another fish, and we'd be like, why, why the fuck are you catching more fish? I know how to fish! I used to fish! <laughs> I was I was a pretty good fisherman as a kid. Ba ba um, basically, Kevin and I worked together, and we, we caught the smallest Yeah, it took fish. it took two of you guys to catch one fish, it took one it of me like, to catch, like, like, four fish. It was like the size of my hand, and you caught one the size of your head. The only thing that sucked was, I didn't realize that they bring the fish out to you with the 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 face, like, still, like, oh. gasping for air. Oh, yeah, they, and, they were very freshly killed. And, uh, Holly was not prepared for that, and she broke down crying, because she doesn't like animals getting hurt. I mean, the animals were- the, the fish were clearly dead. I mean, it had, like, all of its bones oh, exposed all the stuff. muscles were, like, still but, going, uh, like- Yeah, you, you- every now and then, the tail would kind of twitch. Yeah. Which I thought was fucking cool. I was like, wow! That thing was alive, like, ten seconds ago. I know, but-, but Holly, uh, Holly hates animals getting injured, so she- yeah. she was crying. I- I she felt really it, bad for her. I know, I felt so bad, I- cause I was the one that caught and technically killed the fish, so I, I was like- I was- I was Oh no, so... I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> cause they put it down, and, like, just the motion of them putting down, you see it kind of, like, wobbling around, you're like, whatever. And they put it down and walk away and it's still moving and I just started laughing because I was like I was shocked I just never had seen that before I know that was so weird uh, and and then I looked over at Holly and I was like oh no yeah she was really upset I mean I think it's also just that trying to be a vegetarian in uh in Japan, Japan. is not easy <laughs> no they, they love their meats fish is well I mean she's she's not she technically is pescatarian which means she can eat fish but she doesn't like to eat fish she just sure she, she'll, and she it's will. especially hard when it's just like oh yeah no I was holding this thing alive you know, five minutes ago, and now I'm eating it, and it's delicious. Honestly, I would just like to go there and just fish and then let the fish go, but... Catch and release? Yeah, catch and release, basically. They actually did say that there were some fish that we weren't allowed to catch. Yeah, There yeah, was yeah. a shark in there. <clears throat> like an actual, like, uh, natural that. predator. Do you remember um, the, the fucking spider crab thing that would just like walk oh, by? We're not allowed to catch. We weren't allowed to catch him either. It was fucking cool. Or they had an octopus, I think? Yeah, there was a few fish that were just solely yeah. there for show. They were so cool. Okay. Yeah, that was a, I would go back there. Yeah, and like obviously the fish was really good. I would go there, back there, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't take Ollie. No, no, I, I felt really bad for her. Well, next time on Steam Train, we're gonna keep on farming, farming trees and humans. Humans.